The moment you've been waiting for. I am delighted to announce that the winner in the Innovative Organisation of the Year, as sponsored by Mabbit proudly, is a partnership with NHS, NSS and HSE and the Empower Project team. Congratulations. Um, so thank you. I'm delighted actually. I really am chuffed because I was just saying to Bridget there in the breakout that it, it almost kind of epitomizes exactly what we want to do you know and it epitomizes why causeway is there and why some of the other connections are and everybody we're hearing from is talking about oh i've got ireland in my background i've got this i've got that it's fantastic you know as somebody with a family from south dublin to continue that theme uh, it is a delight and it really did show what's important about the connections between our two countries because um it was delightful there's two of the people who actually were on the ground elaine and wendy and in the audience tonight and and they, Wendy expressed it perfectly in the breakout, which was the openness, the transparency, and, and the, the fact that the Scottish colleagues in NHS, while they were fighting COVID and they were trying to get their own video enabled care uh, up and running and, and rolled out, that actually they still took time out. Not just time out to, to support the HSE work, they also did it in the North as well. They did it with the two trusts we're working in. And it's really fantastic to see that it's recognising the, the value of the project that was already there that helped to open the doors. So genuinely delighted to, to represent a group of about 40 people and about 15 to 20 different organisations behind it. But yeah, genuinely delighted and congratulations to Elaine and Wendy as the representatives on the ground and, and doing so much good value. Uh, dare I say the uh, Emperor Gals, which wasn't my phrase, but they are indeed and they were fantastic. So thank you very much for the recognition as well. Alan, don't be running off there. Let me just ask you a quick question. You must be delighted that you picked up this award on behalf of the team because obviously this initiative came together very, very quickly in the face of the virus. It did, yeah. I mean, I mean, Wendy was kind enough earlier to say that Scotland was slightly ahead in terms of this, what we refer to as technology-enabled care. And we are, we're a few years ahead and it. it's just, it's nothing to do with anything better or different or not. It just, it, it, it is. But what's the value is that it was the openness to share it. And that was the origination behind the Empower project, which is there to help introduce technology and well-being to people over 65 with long-term conditions. And it's kind of saying, actually, we're all in that same boat. We're all trying to tackle things. And actually, you know, the HSE on the other side of the project with social prescribing and that whole thing about connecting health and connected communities and individuals, they were years ahead of us. So it does show that difference if you can bring a bit of humility to it, that there's some value in just exchanging and having an open exchange as well. Um, so yeah, definitely, I, I do appreciate those words. That's fabulous, Alan. From a negative, we get a positive. It's absolutely brilliant to hear that you've won this award for the Innovative Organisation Award on behalf of your crew. Guys, I would ask you if you would all like to come off mute for a moment. I think a round of applause is in honour here of the winners of the Innovative Organisation Award, which is the partner with NHS, NSS, and the MHC and the Empower Project Team. <laughs> 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 